In this problem, we want to uh, find f plus g, f minus g, f times g, and f divided by g, given two functions. So we got uh, f of x is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 16, and g of x is equal to x minus 2. Well, first off, let's find f plus g. Well, we're going to put parentheses around each function and put a plus between them. Now, in these, uh, in the plus operation, uh, the addition, uh, these parentheses aren't doing anything, so I can just drop them. And now combine together like terms. Negative 10x plus x gives us negative 9x. 16 minus 2 gives us 14. Now, let's find f minus g. We'll do the same thing. We'll put parentheses around it and put a minus between it. Now, my first set of parentheses isn't doing anything, so I can just drop it. So I got x squared minus 10x plus 16. Remember, if you have a negative out in front of your parentheses, it flips the sign of everything inside. So the x becomes a negative x. The negative 2 becomes a positive 2. So we've got x squared, negative 10x and negative x gives us negative 11x, 16 plus 2 is 18, and that's our answer. Now uh, f times g, multiplication. Again, I'll put parentheses around them, put them next to each other, so i got x squared minus 10x plus 16 times x minus 2. Now, I'm going to start with my second set of parentheses. So I'm going to take the x, the first term, and multiply it times each term in my first set of parentheses. And I'll take my negative 2 and multiply it times each term in the first set of parentheses. Well, x times x squared is x to the third. x times negative 10x is negative 10x squared. x times 16 is 16x. Negative two times two x negative two times x squared is negative two x squared. Negative two times negative ten x is positive twenty x. Negative two times sixteen gives us negative thirty two. Now we want to combine together like terms. So we have a um, x squared here, we have an x squared here. Negative ten, negative two is negative twelve x squared. We have a 16x here and 20x here. Both of them have x. So 16 plus 20 gives us 36x. And then minus 32 at the end. Now for division. There's no need to put parentheses on it because the division symbol separates them. So we'll put the x squared minus 10x plus 16 up on top. And we'll put the x minus 2 down below. Now the top part factors, using the PSD method, we have an x squared, x, no x, there's no number in front of your x squared. So we take the number at the end, ignoring signs, so we take 16, and we're going to write down our three um, columns. P column is all the products give you 16. We got 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 4 times 4. S column, we add those. 1 plus 16 is 17, 2 plus 8 is 10, 4 plus 4 is 8. Difference column, we subtract smaller from larger. 16 minus 1 is 15, 8 minus 2 is 6, 4 minus 4 is 0. Number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 10, which is right there, so we're going to use 2 and 8. Now our signs. The larger number in the P column that we're using, which is the 8, will always be the same sign as the middle term, which in this case was negative. The number we circled in the S column, S for same sign, so if the 8 is negative, then the 2 has to be negative. Now after we factor the top, I see that the x minus 2's can cancel. So our answer is going to be x minus 8. 